In my past video, I talked about xalitol and xalitol pulling in particular, where I used xalitol crystals, put it in my mouth, swished it around, and then spat it out after 15 minutes. For me, that did not work. But I got this comment a lot. What about xalitol gum? So I do what I always do. I explore and experiment. So I bought a lot of different xalitol products and I tested it out for 30 days. Now, two things that I want to mention before I go into this video. I won't be sharing any studies in this video. If you want to learn more about xalitol and how it works, why it works, and what studies say about it, then check out my first video on xalitol pulling, where I really go into the studies of xalitol and why it works as a mechanism and what the studies say and so on. The second thing is a PSA from the comments section again. So I learned that xalitol is really deadly for animals and pets, like cats and dogs. So make sure to not keep it around your pets or easily accessible to them if you decide to get some xalitol. So what was the experiment? I decided to chew xalitol gum throughout the day whenever I finished a big greasy meal or whenever my mouth felt kind of dry and icky or blah. And that was my two criterias. I would always have xalitol gum on me, and whenever I had those two things happen, I would plop a xalitol gum in, chew it for 10 minutes, and then spit it out. So I'll mention it again. If you want to learn about the science of why xalitol works, check out my other video on xalitol pulling. Even though xalitol pulling did not work for me, all of these studies and science that I've mentioned in that video will really explain why xalitol works. So the first thing that I want to share is actually my initial thoughts even before I started the xalitol gum experiment. Because in my mind, I was thinking, why would xalitol gum work better than xalitol crystals? And this was something that I was like, oh yeah, might as well try it still. But I had my doubts right off the bat. And one thing that I realized is that those doubts, they quickly vanished as I was using xalitol gum. And one thing that I just couldn't wrap my head around was why was it so different chewing gum, like xalitol gum, versus using xalitol crystals in the morning? So there were two things that I can attribute the benefits of the xalitol gum to, where it really maintained my oral hygiene throughout the day. The first one is, of course, the xalitol, making my teeth feel nice and smooth throughout the day, and really maintaining that level of nice smoothness so that the plaque doesn't really build up on my teeth throughout the day to then have bacteria there to cause all of those cavities and so on. But the second big thing actually that xalitol gum did was to create more saliva. And saliva is great because bacteria thrives in a dry mouth. So whenever you have dry mouth and you have a lot of small food particles after let's say a meal, that is a haven for bacteria to grow and become those evil cavity bacterias. So not only does the xalitol do a lot of work, but also the act of chewing and creating a lot of saliva in your mouth is a great way to prevent cavities. And on that note, I also want to say that you need to be able to have water easily accessible around you so that you always stay hydrated and you keep your mouth nicely refreshed. And this concept of maintaining my oral hygiene throughout the day, instead of letting it slowly deteriorate from morning all the way to the night, and then I got to brush my teeth and then it's nice again, I'm instead like keeping it consistently throughout the day. And then guess what? When I'm brushing at the end of the day, there is not that much plaque buildup. My teeth still feel really squeaky clean and good. And brushing my teeth is just like a slight maintenance before going to bed. So instead of having a massive job of maintaining my oral health in the morning and at night when all of the buildup throughout the day has been formed, I'm actually just maintaining it at the night and maintaining it in the morning because throughout the day, I'm also maintaining my oral hygiene with xalitol gum. So what products did I try? Let me show you what I had. I got Zellies mints and also the gum and I also bought a lot of different pure flavors these guys over here oh. so what are my thoughts on these products over here first of all the mints 
they didn't give you that extra benefit of chewing gum, which gave you more saliva in your mouth. So the mint one, out. So now what about Zelly's gum versus Pure? And the first thing that I want to mention here is that Zelly's gum, in my opinion, tasted better. And it also had more of a gum texture, you know, like a soft chewing gum that you can chew for, let's say, 15, 20 minutes without it becoming like hard. Because the pure gum, the chewing gum in itself became really like, kind of like tough and like really hard to chew over the first like 20 seconds or so. So as a gum, I would say Zelly's gum is better tasting. But I'm not here to get a better tasting gum. I'm here to have better oral hygiene. So both of these products, they had very similar attributes to how it made my mouth feel after chewing the gum. And the big thing that I actually want to highlight is that Zelly's gum, it's around 40 cents per gum versus the pure gum is around 8 cents per gum. That is a massive difference and I would not buy Zelly's gum over pure just for that aspect in itself. There's a lot of different flavors. And I tried all of these flavors and in my opinion, they were all kind of meh since the flavor disappears so quickly. But the two that kind of stood out a bit more than the others was the peppermint and the wintergreen flavor, where the flavor of the peppermint and wintergreen just stayed and lingered a bit longer in your mouth. So yeah, try these two flavors if you can get them. And I also just want to mention here that I'm not sponsored. These products are bought with my own money. I have no affiliation with these products. I'm just a curious person that does experiments. So yeah, give one of these a try if you want to try some xylitol gum. Greetings, fancy seeing you here in my mini editing dungeon. Now, I just want to let you know that if you enjoy the content here on this channel, then consider giving a one-time donation, or perhaps even if you're feeling extra generous, maybe even joining as a member so you can get some extra perks like early access to the videos, exclusive posts, and so on. Now, back to the video. So I really wanted to understand why the Xalitol pulling did not work and Xalitol gum did work. There are some things that kind of made it be a bit different, like the excessive saliva that you were making when you were chewing the gum, but I couldn't really pinpoint it as to why Xalitol pulling did not work in the morning until I looked up erythritol. So I'm not going to dive into erythritol in this video, but there was this observation in a erythritol study when comparing those two, erythritol and xalitol, to each other that really stood out in my mind. Normally, xalitol-dependent inhibition of bacterial growth has appeared throughout the entire growth phase, whereas erythritol also inhibited, quite distinctively, the growth phase of some S-mutant strains during the later growth phases. So what this is saying is that xalitol, it hits the bacteria's growth phase throughout its whole growth cycle, while erythritol, it's really good at hitting it at the late growth phases. My guess over here is that since I am letting the bacteria linger around throughout the whole night when I'm sleeping, and then I did the xalitol pulling experiment the first thing in the morning, the xalitol only gets to work its magic on the later part of the bacteria stage, where it might not be as efficient as the early parts of the stage. That is my guess as to why xalitol pulling did not work. What I'll probably do for my own curiosity in science is to do xalitol pulling after meals to see if it's as effective as xalitol gum. So maybe I'll post a video on that in the future. But yeah, I really believe that xalitol gum right after a meal or right when the bacteria is kind of like fresh or in its early growth phases in your mouth is probably the best time that you should be consuming xalitol products and kind of like applying that magical xalitol effect to your mouth. So will I be continuing xalitol gum usage moving forwards? Yeah, I think I'll be continuing it. It actually really helped me just understand that there was so much deterioration throughout the day 
that was occurring with my like mouth and teeth that it kind of yet again made me understand that yeah i need to maintain it throughout the day and drinking water and brushing teeth throughout the day is not something that you can always do so having xylitol gum in your jacket pocket in your backpack or in your pouch is a great way to just make sure that you can always maintain your oral hygiene throughout the day if you are let's say out and about or if you're taking a walk or something if you have any experience with these products or if you're just curious and want to try it for yourself well i want to hear your experience after you've tried it in the comment section down below and if you like content like this, make sure to hit that like button. If you want to see more content like this, that subscribe button. I'm Ms. Paul, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.